What is going on, Trash Talkers? We are back with another episode for you. Today, we're going to talk about Stephen A. Smith and some comments that he made about women in combat sports. We're going to tell you exactly what he said, and then we're going to debate whether he should reevaluate his opinion. All that and much more coming your way right now. All right, Nick. Well, you know, listen. The UFC and and fighting sports are definitely an acquired taste. They're not for everyone. And I think at this point in time, you either like them or you don't. I think, you know, I think you have your opinions on them. But one thing that should not be taken away from this is women in fighting sports. Now, before we get started, before we say anything about anyone, I want to say this. We're not going to say anything poorly about Stephen A. Smith on this show. We're not even going to bash him for his comments. I'm going to read what he said, and we're going to dissect it and, and just move forward. I, I, I think that as long as we give the context, I think we should be good to go. So... Uh, just so everybody is clear, this is what Stephen A. Smith had to say about women in fighting sports. When I think about pugilistic sports, I don't like to see women involved in that at all. I just don't like it. I wouldn't pass. I wouldn't promote legislating laws to prohibit them from doing so. But I don't want to see women punching each other in the face. I don't want to see women fighting in the octagon and stuff like that. That's just me. Now... I believe what he's trying to get at is that it's just not for him, but he's not going to prohibit that from happening. Is that what you got, Nick? Sort of. I, I just, what I got from it is Stephen A doesn't believe that women should be in the sport, in any combat sports, which is just completely ridiculous. How you can exclude people just because of their sex because of their gender like that i just don't understand what world he thinks we're living in in this point where women aren't as equal to men it, it's it, it pisses me off because Stephen a has no right to say what he he said no matter if it's his opinion or not he is speaking beyond uh, on behalf of his company his his brand everything and, and and this looks bad this is bad you cannot say these things and be able to get away with it yeah so i mean this came on uh the interview that he was on with larry wilmore on the black on the air podcast um th this is how it all got started he was asked about his thoughts on the san antonio spurs assistant coach becky hammond getting promoted to the head coaching seat after greg popovich was ejected um, and then this is what he had to say. First of all, I love it. I think there's an awful lot of women who are incredibly qualified to do the jobs they're doing. Where I jump off the bandwagon is where they try to engage physically. For example, I don't ever want to see a woman boxing a man. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see a woman in the UFC fighting a man, even though there are some women out there that will kick the dude's butt. So, it listen, I agree with him here. And I believe that he had the best of intentions with everything he was talking about. This is why I'm saying I'm not here to destroy the man. I'm simply here to cha help change his view on women in combat sports. And I think we have just a couple examples that Nick, you can provide specifically that we, people should look out for, because I think anybody who feels the same way as Stephen A does should take a look at some of these fights. I mean, how many times in the past have we said, Girls like Amanda Nunez and Valentina Shevchenko should be fighting some of the guys because they would destroy half the men in the UFC. How many times did people say Layla Ali should should box some of the men because she was that good? 
there are, I'm not saying all women should be fighting men, but there are some women that are capable of doing it. Just because people have an issue with them crossing and, and, and fighting the opposite sex, it's an issue. But you have to look at their skill level. If they're capable of handling it, then what's, what's holding you back? What's stopping you? I, yeah, and, and I guess my, my contention is, you know, listen, I, I understand that men are built a different way than women just physically and, and, and scientifically. It's, it's been proven. I, I'm not saying anything here. What I'm saying is if we, you know, if, if we are all about equality, which I think you and I both are, I think we're very equal human beings, and I believe that we believe everyone else is. In, in this case, in this scenario, if somebody like Amanda Nunez wanted to fight a man, I don't think there's a reason that she shouldn't be able to. Now, I'm not saying she has to, to, to keep her job, right? I'm not forcing her to do that. What I'm saying is if she, ha if she wants that ability, she should have that. And, and, and I believe that Stephen A is a little premature in his comments here. He absolutely is, and this is coming from a guy who has a basketball background, who doesn't, who covers combat sports, but doesn't exactly know what he's talking about. And I'm not saying he needs to know everything, but I'm saying he needs to just think about what he's saying before he says it, because this has big impacts. Everything Stephen A. says is big news because of who he is. So he's got to be very careful about everything that he says. And I know it, it's tough, but... This is one of those instances where this is going to come back to bite him because saying that women aren't able to keep up with men and they don't belong in the ring or the octagon is blasphemous. I see what you did there. Well, you know what else is blasphemous? Stephen A fighting himself. Nick's going to post a video in about two seconds of him actually doing some boxing. You guys need to check this out. It's absolute hysterical. Um, Thank you, Chris Cyborg, for finding this. <laughs> Yeah, Chris I mean, Cyborg, after she heard what Stephen A said on this podcast and was shared by MMAfighting.com, she she posted, and here's the tweet down below, she she couldn't believe it. She was like, come on, man. Like, the you know, you fight for everyone. How about fighting for us a little bit? And, and she's well within her right to call him out on this. I, I think he deservedly needs to get some criticism for this, but... Overall, I think Stephen A is a good man at heart, and he meant no ill will or disrespect. I think he just needs to watch what he says when it comes to women in combat sports. It may not be for him, and that's perfectly fine, but it is for a lot of other people and the women in, that are in it included. Absolutely. I, I think Stephen A needs to use this as a learning lesson to be more careful about what he says and to be more inclusive because... The world has changed. The sport has changed. People are getting into the sport at such an early age. It doesn't matter what gender you are. Everybody is becoming more and more capable of fighting each other, no matter sex or anything else. That's right. Well, I, I appreciate, you know, everything that we were able to talk about today. That's going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell. That'll be all for now. Thank you very much. Peace and love.